Today, I'll be discussing the destabilizing forces and their impact on rotor dynamics. Let's take a look at a two-stage centrifugal slurry pump. This pump is used in a refinery as a coke crusher. That experienced large 1.3 vibration causing the shaft to rub against the stationary bushings. To tackle this issue, two improvements were made. Stiffener vanes were installed on the back of the impellers to reduce destabilizing forces. The ribs caused the liquid to rotate at full impeller angular velocity, therefore reducing pressure on the impeller back shroud. The bushing was modified by removing the grooves to improve stability. This resulted in higher log deck, i.e. damping. These modifications eliminated 1.3x vibration and reduced overall 1x vibration. To capture the occurrence of the instability in rotor dynamics, a rotor bearing impeller layout must be modeled in the program. Once you model the rotor system, then you check the natural frequencies of rotor bearing system. Then you incorporate the bearing and bushing model and then you incorporate the destabilizing forces from the impellers in the rotor model. After running the finite element simulation, the onset speed of instability can be determined. The onset speed of instability is determined by the point at which the damping ratio becomes negative, which occurs at 1260 RPM. This gives a world frequency ratio of 1.32 when divided by the unstable natural frequency. Predicted result from the simulation match with test measurements. And mode shapes shows large lateral displacement at the impeller location, which could lead to rubbing due to large motion. All right, this is all I have for you today. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.